So I've been working on a Gemini capsule, which is the equivalent of the Gemini protocol for a web page. <laughs> Some of you might be familiar with my traditional HTTP page, and this is just my personal website. I have, uh, well, I haven't updated this in a while, but I have links to various things that I work on. Um, I have like a, a gallery of just this is old artwork that I've saved. I have an archive area. Um, so I archive stuff on archive.org, but then I also host it here. Various old games, whatever. <laughs> um, there's a guest book. People post on the guest book. I check it every so often to make sure there's no evil, bad spam. Uh, links to old screenshots of websites and stuff like this is the earliest screenshot I could find of one of my desktops so programming in Visual Basic but lately since I've been spending more time in the terminal I've been first I played around with Gopher and then now I've been playing around with uh, Gemini so Amphora is a Gemini browser you can use I like using it it's looks nice in my opinion. Uh, I might uh, change the blue to be less dark. Oh, that might just be an Amphora thing? Here, just a second. I don't know, changing my browser colors isn't changing those blue links, but we'll, we'll go with it. So, I have, um, once again, here's the website. If I go to musad.com, it goes to my Moosa D webpage. However, if you go to gemini.moosadee.com, it will go to my Amphora page. So this is something that I just work on from the terminal. I have my droplet where I'm hosting all this stuff, but I just have this. It links to my HTTP pages and stuff as well. Uh, you can just view those with links. I have some little areas here, like a media log. I've been moving my media log from the rachellikespizza.com to here. Um, I have a list of ideas of things to do in the command line. Uh, memes and culture, so I just like to log pop culture stuff <laughs> by uh, generation. So there's stuff that I consider old, like Gen X and before that. Um, ideas for projects, game concepts, uh, my Ardwolf resources, and I was kind of working on some maps just that are viewable from the command line, but I only really did one area. Uh, saved quotes, and then I have the blog. So. Uh, with Amphora, I just hit space and then I type in the area I want to go to. So if I went to uh, 14, it would go to that. And I'll show you what these um, Gemini pages look like. They're basically just markdown. I also have this in a GitLab repository, so um, everything can be viewable from, you know, GitLab instead of, you know, if you don't have Amphora. But there are uh, graphical browsers for Gemini on uh, computer and on phone. I have a few on my phone that I got through F-Droid. So if you have an Android phone, use F-Droid to find some Gemini browsers. But basically, if we look at the gopher map here, this is the index page. I don't know why I put recommended browser links. Wait, is this old? This is the old page, maybe? Let me see. No, that's right. It just... Yeah, it has that there. Why, why is this page out of date? <laughs> Here's my configuration, so it's supposed to be pointing there. So then... Oops. The question is, if we go into there, and go into Gemini... Oh, where was I at a second ago? Oh, did I go into the gopher one? Okay, I probably... 
I wasn't paying attention. I went into the gopher one. So, as I was saying, we go to Emacs and look at the... This is a GMI page, but it's basically Markdown. Um, this is what links look like. Here's the link to the thing. Here's the text. Um, this is like a pre-formatted code area. Um, links to other areas related to the server or other places and so on. So then I have the thingies directory. Um, so if we go to the command line, this is the ideas for things to do in the command line. It looks better when you're actually viewing it via Amphora. I wonder if I can view locally. There's quotes. Can I just open up? Yeah, so I guess I could pre preview it here as well, but I mean, it's just on my droplet, so um, it just interprets it. Did I? Okay, there we go. So yeah, it's just, I've been editing this. You'll see this is an org mode document because it's easier to work with tables in Emacs with org mode. Um, if I am editing markdown in Emacs, it just doesn't auto table my table stuff. So if I do that, it'll auto size my table. And if I shrink that, it'll auto size my table. So I've just been using org modes for some of these notes, but you can still view them. Ideas.org. It doesn't have the coloring that m uses, but it's still legible. Um, so again, if I go to Amphora index.gmi just to preview it again, you can get there at gemini.moosedy.com and then, yeah, I've just been kind of casually updating it whenever uh, I don't have a lot to do, but I have access to my phone or a computer with putty or maybe I'm carrying my little Chromebook around that has uh, Ubuntu on it. So then I just log into my droplet and play around with this. Um, I need to find more Gemini pages to link to. I would like to do that so that this can kind of be a landing page for me to find stuff to do while I am, again, out and about with only access to a terminal. <laughs> or, you know, if I am on a Windows computer, I can access my my Linux droplet from anywhere as long as I have PuTTY or, or uh, PowerShell with SSH or whatever. So, yep. Yep, this is my Gemini capsule. Uh, I don't really like the name capsule. <laughs> I like gopher space better. Um, and, yeah, what else is there to say? Um, it's hard to search Gemini these days because of freaking Google Gemini. So I guess you have to just do a search for, like, um, Gemini protocol. So if we go to DuckDuckGo real quick. I will look for Gemini protocol and see what comes up. There's the Wikipedia page. There's some articles about Gemini, some tutorials on Reddit, a collective... A collection of awesome things regarding the Gemini protocol. Various, various other things. Oop. And of course, you could also just surf the web with links. But Gemini feels a lot more concise uh, than trying to read a whole web page with links. But looks like here's some... This is the terminal clients, graphical clients. Is there an Amiga OS client for Gemini? That's a little silly. Um, so that'd be cool. Servers. Things to look at. Things to explore. If you're bored and <laughs> just literally do not know what to do. Which is me a lot of the time these days. So, check, check stuff out. Yay! Make your own Gemini thingy ding. I'm using Titan too. There are other server um, programs, but that's what I'm using here. So, 
So thanks for watching. I, I don't have anything else. <laughs> I might play some Ardwolf or something.